my dudes and dudettes. <laughs> so today what I'm doing is a look with my Hot Topic palettes. Um, I'm doing this in collaboration with Reed's Beauty Trip. I'll leave her linked below. I'm gonna start off with um, showing you the ones I have, the ones I found anyways, and then we'll get into the look, the eye look. I got my base on already, so. So the first one I have is Tish and Snooki's Manic Panic NYC Amplified 12 Eyeshadow Palette. <laughs> Looks like that. You probably already seen these in my get ready or my um, makeup collection. But I got this one and it was broke, so I got it for you know a fraction of the price. Really pretty. I don't think I've ever used it. I have a Supernatural Join the Hunt Monster Guide eyeshadow palette. It's kind of got like a leather piece here in the middle. And that's what it looks like inside. It also had a break in the mirror, so I got it for a fraction of the price. No, I don't think I've ever used it either. No, I didn't. I don't think I used it. Maybe I did. But that's what that looks like. And these are pretty long, like, and especially this one. This one's kind of normal. This one's really long. Then I have... Um, Never Sleep Again eyeshadow palette. And then No Place to Hide sh um, shadow palette. The Never Sleep Again is... Freddy Krueger, and it has all these shadows. It's got the little claw marks, and it says Elm Street on the mirror. So that's the Freddy one, called A Nightmare on Elm Street. Then I have the No Place to Hide. It is the Jason Voorhees palette. And on the mirror, it says Camp Crystal Lake, and it has a little blood splatter right there. That's a more neutral palette. Friday the 13th. Then I have two of the handbook for the recently deceased eyeshadow palette. It's from Beetlejuice. I like this one. It's really pretty. I've used it a few times. But it's like a little book and I got two ones to use and ones to keep because Beetlejuice is one of my favorite movies of all time and then I have two of the wonderful nightmare eyeshadow palettes the nightmare before Christmas 25 years palette looks like this it's got a little metal thing in the middle And it, it looks like you can make some really nice looks, kind of neutral with a pop of color. Boom. And, well, I got two of them. Basically, ones to keep and ones to um, collect, or ones to use and ones to collect. I don't know if I'm going to do that anymore. And this is the one that I got last. It's the Master of Fright eyeshadow palette. Shaped like a coffin. Um, it just basically has all these colors. I think this is the one we're gonna use today. So let's get right into it. I don't know if I told you guys before, I can't really do any editing because my editor's broke or my phone's broke or something. I, I just use my phone, you know. I've never really strayed away from that because it's something that was easy and I know how to do. I could learn how to do all the fancy stuff, but why when this is just easy <laughs> so anyways i'm gonna start off here with i think i'm gonna end up with like a i don't know i'm just gonna end up with a look at the end but i'm gonna start off with wolfman this really neutral type thing finish i'm gonna take the real techniques deluxe crease um deluxe crease but Deluxe Crease Brush. And I'm gonna start off with that. I'm just gonna kinda put it in the crease and build it small. I've used this like one to two other times and I didn't have a whole lot of good luck with it. But by golly, 
we're gonna make it work today because it's so cute and my recently deceased the handbook for the recently deceased that's a really good palette and if you notice inside um it has a little coffin i think um sorry <laughs> my dog's barking it's um distracting me but i'm just gonna put this all over well mostly in the crease and some on the lid and then I think I'll take another color and kind of blend it out, but I'm gonna kind of deepen up the crease. I don't know if y'all know, but I'm on TikTok, so I'll leave that down below. So go support me on my TikTok, you know? You know I'm funny. So I got some good TikToks out, if I do say myself. I feel like I always have like a patchiness right here like I said before, I have a watery eye. So, I don't know. I think it's performing okay. I think I'm going to go into Oogie. I think that's what it is. No, maybe it's Cyclops. Let's go into Cyclops. And blend it out a little. And I'm going to go into a dark color, Gliss Fog Juice, and I'm going to deep it up, deepen it up even more out here on the edge. Sorry, my nose is whistly, if you hear it. I don't know why. But yes. So now to talk about my friend Tara. Well, she's very sweet. We work at the same place. I mean, you know, she lives in a different state, but we work at the state, same establishment. So she always gives me tips and tricks on that. So thank you so much for that, Tara. And also, you're going to want to go back and watch her videos, especially because she used to have long hair like me, probably even longer, and she chopped it all off. So she's got a really um, edgy, short haircut now. And she's, um, she's rocking it. I really like it. Um, I remember I had short hair for about eight to 10 years. Then I just got done with it. But when I first had my short hair, I was like, what's up everybody? Look at me. <laughs> so, and so I'm still kind of try, trying to grow it back. It's getting pretty long. I'm taking hair, skin, and nails. But actually, this is working better than it did before, so good for that. I'm wearing blue today. I have a dress on. I got this dress for $3.75 <laughs> at Gordman's. You know, if you know me for any amount of time, I'm a very good bargain shopper. Like when it comes for clothes and stuff, um, I try to get makeup on sale. I'm taking that um, Cyclops, that lighter shade and blending. Um... But yeah, as for my clothes, my clothes are normally pretty cheap and they're, I like basics and stuff like that. But yeah, and like I said, it's a little patchy right here, but it seems to always do that on this eye. So I don't think it's the palette. I think it's my eye. I'm gonna have to get a new eye there. <sighs> but anyways, if we're talking about makeup collections, I don't think I don't think Tara's ever done a makeup collection, but we are friends on Marco Polo, so I've seen some of the things she has, and she's got a lot, a lot of nice nice stuff. I'm just trying to blend a little. You know, blending is the key to getting a good eye look. And yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be um, patchy over there. It is what it is. I'm sorry about that. That's my eye, it's not the palette.
that's good. But I really do think that trick works if you put the concealer on and look up. And it'll give you a guide to where you're going with your cut crease. I really wish I'd get my phone fixed so that I could do better editing. My videos are kind of suffering because of it. And it feels like I really don't want to do videos because I know I can't really... I can't edit. And it sucks. So... I think I'm gonna go in with that gold, but I'm not sure. See, like right now, this eye is like watering. Not a lot, you can't really tell, but I can feel it and it's annoying. It's probably just because of all the eyeshadow I put on. I probably got a little case of the dry eye over there. I will never stop using eyeshadow. I don't care. Don't even ask me to, okay? <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to fan this so it can get dry. Maybe kind of do a little bit of this number. Okay. <laughs> so what do you guys think? I think I'm going to use this one. I think it's called Oogie. Let me swatch it and see what it looks like. I don't know, that's what it looks like. Hmm, let me try Spiral Hill, which is a purple one. Mm. How about Frog's Breath? Oh. No, I can't use that because I gotta do, <laughs> I gotta do a St. Patrick's Day look, so we can't use Frog Breath. I'm going to use, I don't know, or should I use the red? Mm, it's so hard to tell. I'm going to use the gold. I'm going to use the gold. I'm going to put it on my finger. And I'm going to pat it on. This smells really good. My, my face is all the way up in it like that. Because <laughs> if you didn't know, I'm old. I can't see very well. But, uh, I, uh called to ask about a eye exam at this at Walmart and this lady's like well since you're such and such over a such and such an age you're gonna need bifocals I'm like you can't tell me what I need I can read just fine without a bifocal it might help a little bit to read it to read but I'm pretty you know good at reading without bifocals See, I went on here, and then I'm going to go underneath about halfway with it. And then I'll do the bottom. I'm going to make sure I put it in the corner. I'm going to need to do some blending. But so far, I kind of like it. Let me go on the underneath of this here. And, don't know. I'm going to take the Jeffree Star brush again. I'm going to go underneath with the color Black Widow. It's that red color. Like right here. And kind of blend all of this a little bit with Black Widow. Yeah, so that also means my videos will be probably around 20 minutes or so because I can't, I can't um, edit. That looks pretty cool. And I'm gonna go in with the light colored one the Cyclops is kind of like a skin color one and I'm gonna blend up here by the brow bone and out here with it I think that looks pretty good okay I'm going to put on some eyeliner 
I'm gonna use the Master Precise all day as usual. Put on a wing here. I'm gonna put on a big wing. I've been liking big wings lately. A big fat wing for a little fat girl. I think I screwed this one up, but I think it'll be fine. If I could find my lash glue, I would put on them Dollar Tree lashes, but can't find it. Can't find them. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a bad YouTuber. I'm gonna take my Milani. Well, actually, let's go with the white in the inner rim. I see my friend Kimberly do this the other day, and I was like, I need to bring that back to, into my life too. I don't know if it goes with this look, but we're gonna make it. <laughs> and I'm gonna put on some mascara, maybe, oh yeah. I'm gonna use the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with castor oil. I believe I got this in a boxy charm. And it's not bad. You just gotta be careful with it. Cause it will get messy. Probably cause of the castor oil. Sorry about my dog, but you know. You know what my dog, I had to give him a bath last night cause he had clumps of poo stuck on him. It was, it was horrific. That's what happens when you get a fluffy animal. <laughs> Every so often it happens and you gotta go back there and shave it and everything. So I'm gonna go in with my boring trip for two to bronze up my face, bronze and blush. I'm gonna go in heavy handed. Put the blush on also. Oh yeah, also I did pick a winner for my giveaway. It's Mary Moods and she's gonna get her palette pretty soon here. Um, if you know me, <laughs> I hate going to the post office. So whenever I get to the post office, which will be soon, she will get her blue blood palette that she won. I don't like to you know what, I don't like to, uh, um, what's that word, like announce it, because then people start un uh, uh, unsubscribing to me, because they just subscribe to me for the um, palette, so joke's on you. <laughs> I'm going to go in with Powder Puff Cool Intentions. I need to blend a little teeny bit more and then we're good to go, I think. Like in this area where they come together. Okay. And do a little bit of Slay All Day setting spray and mint chip. And voila, it's all done. So here's a look. And don't forget to go down in my description bar and follow Reed's Beauty Trip. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to me because if you're not subscribed to me, I don't really know what you're doing, but you probably should do that. So anyways, thank you for watching and you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.